We interrupt our regularly scheduled program for a weather update from Pattaya, Thailand. Down here at Cat Flaps, the weather forecast is wet and drippy. Gentlemen, make sure you pack your raincoats. Visit gentsclubs.com for more information. <laughs> Gotta love that, guys. Amazing, amazing. What's up, what's up, guys? The weather is actually looking a little gloomy out here today, but I guess this is what March looks like in Pattaya. Welcome to John Tian Beach. We're gonna do a little beach walk. Uh, wanted to catch a sunset, but good to see what it is from what it's looking like here. Hope you guys enjoyed the intro. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start here walk down to uh, my Q sauna. I'm gonna do a little sauna session. And I took, I did this walk before up, up the beach and up Jam Tien Soy 7. And you guys really, really enjoyed that. So I figured I'd take you guys up the beach and up Jam Tien Soy 5 this time. We can kind of tool around the neighborhood and see what we see because it's gonna be a new cast of characters every time. And you know we love to meet the people, see what's going on out here. So this is the view of the beach, which we will, uh, you know, pop in and out of as I'm walking. But let's start this walk, guys. Hope you are all having, having an amazing day today. Welcome to the jungle. And for those who don't know, I'm your gracious host. I am your gracious host, Jeffrey Peterson, the pimp in paradise. Again, guys, welcome to the jungle where we got fun and games on tap. <laughs> Walking up uh, Pratimnak Soy 5 to the beach today. A lot of people down here. And even though it looks overcast, still very comfortable, very nice little breeze going on. Excuse me. You can always remember the uh, shrine right here, guys. And the path that I'm walking on. Have you guys ever walked up this path right here? They could use more of this path down here at the beach because as we'll enter the road right now, it gets a little squirrely at times. It's a narrow road. It's a narrow road because, because people park, which makes it even more narrow. And uh, you know, we got motorbikes down here. There's a pickup truck coming up. Gotta love the sound of the crashing waves, guys. Got to love the sound of the crashing waves. No, being from San Francisco, I dig a day like this, where it's got a slightly gray sky. Yeah. 
See these guys with these uh, sidecars coming up. Pretty dangerous. Gotta always, always be aware. Always be aware of your surroundings when you're out here, gentlemen. All kinds of stuff can pop up out on you. Not only lady boys to look out for, guys. Many, many things to look out for. See, she's having to stop because there's a car coming. And if you rent a car, guys, don't drive your car down here on beach, on this Jump TM beach walk. Just don't do it. There's roads. You can take uh, that Praia Road, Pratam Rock Road, second road to get around the beaches. You just clog it up down here. Sweaty cup? Little insider tip. If you're ever down here at the beach and you need a bathroom, these guys got a bathroom right inside the building here. They'll let you use it. They're good guys. Just at the end of the uh, volleyball court, and where the water park begins. Oh, before I forget, guys, I have to thank all of you. You guys have been jumping on the Patreon like crazy. Thank you all for doing that. I always say it's super unstable over here, um, but that, you guys being over there, makes everything so much more secure. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much to everybody who's been jumping over there. Thank you so much, guys. Really, really appreciate that. volleyball going off out here today a lot of people out here a lot of people down here at this section of the beach for whatever reason this is probably the most busy section that we've encountered so far for some reason the vibe feels very Russian just a just a feeling I'm getting Nothing wrong with that. I wonder how many of them are over here. Uh, not really. Oh, look at this. They they got a. What, what do we got going on here with the flags? Okay, okay, <laughs> whatever. Dinosaur ice cream person. black rectangle on top of the screen. Really? 
I wonder if that's the uh, streaming software we're using. Oh, let me see. Thanks, bro. That was the uh, the intro. I guess I can. I guess I can insert clips as I'm doing this. I should have played it. I should have tried to play it. Matter of fact, let's see. Let's play with this a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. I'm using a third-party software so we can upload this later. Cleaned up a little bit. And uh, there's all kinds of bells and whistles and functions that this, uh, what's up, bro? Hello, Thailand. <laughs> we love Thailand, we love Thailand. There's all kinds of functions that it has. You guys saw I tried the intro out today. That was cool. But uh, still figuring it out. Always new software, new things to try. It's constant. Too many, man, too many. Managing the the uh, YouTube is more is more hours than a full time job. The Tim Ferriss four hour work week concept is is that it's just a concept. <laughs> even if you consolidate it, even if you consolidate it and plan it, it comes to more than a four hour work week for sure. Let's get some shout outs in guys. Shout outs to Bass, shout out to Brian. Brian, thank you for coming to meet me the other day. That was very cool, man. That was very cool. Thank you for uh, dropping by and saying hello. Shout out to Matthew, shout out to Stephanie, Stefan, Stefan. 12 days coming. Nice, bro. Shout out to Bra Cloud TV. Special shout out to Anthony. What's up, brother? Dongshi <laughs> Dongshed D. What's up? What's up? Boom boom. Sweaty cop. I should get one of these chairs one day. Do a live stream just chilling. Chilling sitting down. I like to do it moving though, because then you guys I feel like you guys get the uh the straight Google map live in real time. Chocolate Man used to use Prism for his 10,000 steps. Probably. I think he was using the GoPro and would clip it to his shoulder. Because I remember I was watching him one time and I could tell that the uh, point of view was 
was from his shoulder and he had his hands free. I think he was like looking at his phone or something like that. Or I saw him use both of his hands. But um, even with it clipped to his shoulder, it was still pretty stable. You ever seen those Vitaly videos where he's like, we got him right here, we found him, we found the guy. <laughs> he laughed, he laughed. <laughs> he been walking with us for a minute, so I had to put him on. <laughs> Bug man coming. You guys see this guy rolling up and down John Tia and that's the bug man right there selling all of the crispy critters for you. You can buy all kinds of different uh, grasshoppers, mealworms, what have you from that guy right there. That dude is crazy. I seen him drunk inside Family Mart coming up to me asking me to open up uh, some tape for him. Oh, and it looks like he's gonna stop right here, bug man. Bumping the music, brother. We love it, we love it. We love to have a DJ on deck. And he's got the picture of King Rama 9 down there. But anyways, guys, if you see the bug man out here, you can pick up your crispy grasshoppers, mealworms, big old cockroaches for dinner. You guys ever ate the like one inch size cockroach? I did for the first time in Kanchanaburi. Speaking of which, find my Kanchanaburi video. Type in uh, Jeffrey Peterson Kanchanaburi. One of my first, uh, one of my first passport full videos shot on the shot on the GoPro it was before I had the the trusty iPhone Yeah, he used to mount the GoPro to his shoulder mounts. Yeah, I was just surprised how stable it was because those shoulder mounts are not gimbals. It's just a clip. It's just a clip that clips onto your backpack. So it should be like, you know, bouncing as he walks. How's the taste? Let's see, let's see. Let me think about that.
tastes kind of like if you were to just eat um, chickpeas. Have you ever have you ever just eaten chickpeas? It kind of tastes like that. But then you know what it is, so it kind of grosses you out. But that's the texture. The texture is like mashed up chickpeas. Before you get to the hummus stage and just the mashed up chickpea stage. Beautiful out here, isn't it, boys? Even looking a little overcast, can't beat it. Cannot beat it. Let me know down below where everybody's watching from. barbecue buffet across the street there, $5.99 every Friday and Saturday. guys again I have to thank you guys again my pimp in paradise numbers I've been getting reports since from in from Spotify they are off the chains They're, they've gone way 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 up so again thank you all for bumping that hope you guys have been enjoying all the videos and all that good stuff but you guys are you guys are boosting all of my numbers so thank you thank you thank you again guys appreciate you all so much you don't even know you guys are really coming through you guys are really showing up really really appreciate it guys exceeding expectations boys And there it is on the on the on the beach eating barbecue shrimp in. That's what I'm talking about right there. Those are the shrimp that I'm talking about that I'm referencing in the song. So you could be right there, your little table chilling on the beach chair. Barbecue shrimp, beverage of your choice, lady of your choice, or lady boy of your choice for those who want to partake. Like they say over here, up to you. <laughs> boat video with the cat flaps girls I'll try to arrange that the thing is they're lenient they're, they want me to do all this stuff but then they want the girls back for when the club when the club opens 
So my time is very limited. And remember, I, I'm getting these girls in the morning and these girls drink every day. So by the time I get to them, they're not like super happy to see me. <laughs> they're like, oh, extra work. All right guys, so last time was Soy 7. We'll pop up Soy 5 this time. Swing by Immigration. I think Immigration has, Immigration's just closed. But still, this is a good soy for you guys to check out. Remember this 7-Eleven here, and you can catch mini buses from this corner to the airport. Got a pharmacy, got a tattoo shop. One of my favorite places to eat, this Cheap Charlie's right here. Cheap Charlie's does a steak and eggs, pork chop pork chop steak and eggs for just around 200 baht. I've been messing with that. Cheers lounge and guest house. You could stay at Cheers. Anybody ever stayed at Cheers? Got your street pharmacy right here. Sweaty cup. Got your legit pharmacy right here. Post office on Soy 5, guys, if you need to receive packages, you can arrange that here. Also, obviously, if you need to send anything back to your home country. So Jam Tien Soy 5, just opposite the Jam Tien Thani Hotel, famous for our Jessica Rabbit video. This is where we filmed the Jessica Rabbit video and then also, if you look up there, you'll see that gentleman. We can see him in the there. See that guy up there? That's where we filmed the Living My Best Life video. Right up there. Up at there, there's a little swimming pool up there. You got massage. So from what I understand, the bot is getting weak to the dollar again. That's good news for you guys. Roadhouse. Roadhouse seems to have a crop of nice girls, but every time I've done this walk, they look um, asleep. You guys will notice that I'm trying to get as much live walk-in talks in right now because I've got a hunch that, um, these, th these, this type of video is, there's a possibility it might not be around very long. It, it's, um, there's just been a lot of stuff I've been seeing on YouTube where people have been having problems. I personally love this style because like I always say, I give you guys that Google map look and Another way to look at it is this. There are pesky guys who do this, prankers. Uh, nobody really likes that. Nobody really likes being put on the spot or, or looking dumb. There are rude guys. I just found, about, found out about this kid that like confronts people like to pick fights and then he has a bodyguard with them to protect him from people beating him down. So when stuff like this happens and the thing that happened in Japan, the... Uh, What's his name? Jimmy, Somali or whatever. All of that makes people, when you're walking around with a camera, they, they think, are you, are you good or are you out here to make people look bad? Anyways, I love this style. I think you guys love this style. So I'm gonna try my best to keep it going and get as many in as we can before anything may or may not change. Do you feel me, guys? Do you feel me? And here it is. Here is Seanbury Immigration right here. So this is where you're gonna need to handle all of your visa stuff. And while you're waiting, you can come to Thai Aroi D here. Good little restaurant. And we got the 
Mother Mary statue there. I said in the last video, I was surprised to see this because not many Catholics in Thailand. And people love to comment out of context all the time and, and said, GP, there's many Christians in Thailand. Mother Mary, Catholic. I know, same, same, but different. Guys, make sure your paperwork is in order. You don't want to end up in the back of that pickup right there. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to keep them going. I think they've, uh, they're getting better and better, aren't they? Aren't my walk and talks getting better and better and better? Actually, the last one that we did, this similar route. Hello, brothers. How are you? Good, good, good. And we got money exchange at the top here. I'll pop over, show you guys the market. What I was saying is with the last one that we did, like this route, there, wa there wasn't the best interactions. But I left them in because I felt like it was worth it to show you guys um, what it's really like, what it's really like. And to be fair, I got a gimbal that's about 18 inches, 18 inches tall with an iPhone 13 mounted on the top of it. Hey, I'd be feeling the same way if somebody was walking around with a camera. You can't expect everybody to be, to be camera ready and to be laughing and joking in what, less than a second? They see me and register me coming. Especially when they're all sitting down to, to dinner like this. Oh, here we got a, a pig roast going over here. Sassy time massage. Must be somebody's birthday. Look at that, guys. Nice, 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 nice. This is our friend with the orange juice here. The lady that didn't want to pay the extra 10 baht. Let it go. And very quiet vibe in the night market tonight. Swadika. Good book. Good book. How'd you find that book? Uh, in university. University? Yeah, yeah. It's what one of the best books ever. Yeah. Change your life. You. Seven habits of highly effective people, guys. Yes, yes. Good to see her reading that. Should have asked her where she was from. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna guess Eastern Europe, Russia, somewhere. We'll pop through uh, Rompo. Do a little lap around. Audio and video are great. Nice, nice, nice. Very good. So remember this, remember this little uh, spot right here, guys. If you need anything for your house, this little market here, they got hangers, they got cleaning supplies, they got clothes in there, just right next to the little night market area. Check out the barbershop looking like a garage. I like it, I like it. 
you can get a haircut there and they'll fix your flat tire while you're at it. Hello girls. How are you? You all look lovely today. Look very good. Look very good. They like they like paused up. They like paused up like uh, like I'm joking them or something. Like, nah, you look good, girls. You look good. Where you go? Where you go? <laughs> Where? We will rock you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Every time I walk through Rompo Market, I always think it has so much potential. This oregano is one of my favorite places right here. Good, uh, I don't eat here very often, but every time I do, I always wonder why I don't come more often. Reasonably priced, good Italian food, good Thai food, salads, they got it all. Okay guys, so we'll um, just complete our lap here. Q sauna is just right up the street. I'll finish in front of Q, just so you guys know exactly where it is for those who don't know. But again, want to, want to thank you guys for getting the, the song stream, streaming numbers up, number one. Excellent, amazing stuff. And number two, thank you all who have jumped over on the Patreon. Helps me out so much. Uh, Cause it's like, my report comes in every day. So it's like, I make something different every day. So if you guys are on the Patreon, man, it just lifts a weight off my shoulders. So thank you, thank you very much to, have, to everyone who's been popping over there. Really means a lot. Thank you, thank you guys. There's open land over here for anybody who's interested. Right next to Rompo, you could put a little resort over here or you could put one of our favorite things, one of our saunas. You guys wanna see real quick? I'll pop in. This is Rompo Market. Check it out guys good plot of land I had been here before there was a resort over here that was kind of uh, had like a wood cabin type feel it was really cool I'm surprised they tore they've torn it down but yeah guys somebody should check this out I think it's reasonably priced from what I've heard through the grapevine but I'll get you guys, this is the phone number right here. If anybody has the, the Line app, if you type that in under the phone number, probably be able to get a hold of somebody. For those of you who are interested in coming over here and doing some business. Look, I'll show you guys what a closed bar looks like because there's like a, two of them that look like they're closed up in here. So these Rompo places, look, oh, they got a stripper pole in there. Look at that. I still, I believe that this Rompo has so much potential, 
but it's just not cool like Tree Town. But all of these places over here, they have their they have their customer base. So probably the guys that come over here, they like it kind of mellow and not so crazy. But what do I know? Hello. <laughs> How are you, sweetie? This is Jam Tien. Just behind Jam Tien Soy 5 and Jam Tien Soy 7. Now look, if you wanted something a little bit quieter, two ladies over there playing, not too many, not too much interference. You know, so if you were at, let's say a tree town or LK or something like that, gonna be dealing with a lot more interference that's the appeal over here to me you know you can go in this bar Dow bar right there I count five ladies and then we got double D right here we met the girls from double D before Hi. hey girls how are you how are you Hi. did anyone see you guys from the last video did anyone see you from the last video <laughs> they don't know what I'm saying <laughs> thank you girls I guess they didn't see the last video because they all turned their head. <laughs> you guys get on me for speaking the broken English, but then I, I say one simple sentence and they all go, huh? <laughs> Did anyone see you from the last video? Pretty simple sentence, in my opinion. Corner house. And that's Rompo, guys. Looks like the, the sky cleared up a little bit. We're not getting our usual beautiful purple pink color. But hey, what can you do? Oh yeah, man. Got my salad twist around, uh, across the street there. It's always nice to pull up somewhere with two ladies. Alrighty guys, thank you all for hanging out. Appreciate you guys. Again, again. That Pippin' Paradise has been released. I'm glad that you guys are digging all the videos and the Spotify iTunes numbers are through the roof. So thank you all for all of that business. Really, really appreciate that because we, uh. Y'all have given GP a record deal. We don't need anybody else. We're good. We are good over here. And then also for those of you who have been on the Patreon, guys, I really, really appreciate that. Uh, can't really, I, I can't express to you how much that means to me. So thank you, thank you for that. It really, really lifts a weight off my shoulder because you hear all the YouTubers say it, YouTube fluctuates. So that really gives me peace of mind. So thank you, thank you guys for that.
I am here at Q. Uh, 220 baht for the sauna. They got a pool in there, hot dip, hot tub, cold sauna. They got the gym upstairs. I don't want to walk in filming because everybody's in there chilling and relaxing. But I'll get you guys a shot of the gym from the exterior. That's the gym up there. I'm going to head up there right now. And all right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you all for hanging out again. Thank you for all the support. It means the world to me. And uh, we're going to keep popping these out. We're going to keep knocking them out. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until the next one, guys, peace and love. And when you're over here in Patia, don't be shy. Say hi when you see me out. I love meeting you guys.